Hi YouTube, it's Ian from ProRocket.net. Today, I'm gonna show you a very special thing that we recently bought from Yonex and to give you a better shopping experience when you buy a tennis racket and a badminton racket. Now, as a Yonex Stringin Team member, we are proud to be part of the team and also we would like to show you what kind of machine we use to string your racket. Doesn't matter, tennis or badminton. So first of all, we use the PTA Deluxe from Yonex. This is the machine that is used on All England Open and of course a lot of badminton tournaments. And last but not least is their latest Precision 5.0, which is a Ferrari red, looks really cool. And they use this to string at the Australian Open for tennis events. Now, I just wanna let you guys know that when you purchase a racket from us, we will definitely string your racket at our best, best potential and then on these two machines the way we string it will be the Yonex stringing team way so your racket will be safely strung with us and of course at your desired tension as well now our today focus will be the machine in front of me this is the 2021 precision scan so this machine is an evolution design from Yonex that will totally change the way you think when you buy a racket and let me show you how this machine works. So when you come into a store like us, which we have a lot of inventories for racket, how do we find the right fit for you? So that's why this precision scan exists. And this is a very, very helpful machine for us to show you which racket fits you the best. So let's take a closer look on this machine. So first thing first, we turn this machine on. When we turn it on, there's a Yonex logo right here. It looks pretty cool. This is the dashboard. This is what we look at. Well, let's go into details about the dashboard. So there's an L side weight and the R side weight. So L side means the left side of your racket. R side means the R side of your racket. Usually it's plus or minus gram. You don't have to, too you don't have to be too worried and too conscious about that. Uh, what we want to look at is the total weight and the balance point. So the total weight will be the total, well, it's pretty obvious, the total weight of your racket. So if you have a 4 year racket, average will be 83 grams if you have a 3 racket average will be 88 grams now balance point usually even balance racket is around 295 and head heavy racket will be more than 295 usually 300 and head light racket will usually be less than 290 but 295 is a good range for even balance bracket now talking about swing weight and there's a performance swing weight so swing weight will be the power that you will be able to get out from this racket now the heavier racket the head heavier racket the higher the number will be now performance swing weight we don't have to be too careful about that because performance swing weight is the data that yonex lab uh, tested on the racket and it will actually collect all the data up here and give you the performance swing weight but to be honest we usually just look at the regular swing weight now before we start we usually use this so this is the caliber so, and you can see there's three uh different kgs up there plus or minus one so for badminton we go for the 100 because badminton rackets are usually less than 100 kg swing weight and but for tennis uh, we have to go up to 200 and 300 so let's see how it looks like so we slide the caliber into the slot and then we test it whether the swing weight is at 100 plus or minus one cool 99.5 so plus or minus one, it's pretty accurate. Now for tennis, we have to slide this thing. So this is the extra weight. We slide this extra weight into the slot on the 200 or the 300 kg. And when we test it out, it should show 200 plus or minus one and 300 plus or minus one depends on where I place it. But since we're doing badminton today, we don't need that. So cool, this machine is accurate. Take that off, reset to zero. Now. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on the ADS Pro 3U version and show you how different they are even though they are the same racket. Let's we'll start with the first one. Slight push. They start calculating. Cool, 89.9 grams. Okay, so as we know, 3U rack is around average 88 grams, so slightly above the average. Balance point 301, slightly head heavy, not too bad. So let's take a look on the swing weight and the performance swing weight. And like I said, L side weight, right side weight, plus or minus one, not to worry about that. Easy is just 0.4 differences. Slide it into the slot, clamp it, let it go. Cool, 89 and 91.4. So this is the power that we get 
get from this racket. Uh, well, this is the full potential that we will get if we actually swing really, really hard. But we look at this number, and like I said, the higher the number, the more powerful it is. So if we put if we put a hammer down there, and then let the hammer swing, you're gonna get really, really high numbers. But no one play with hammers with in badminton. So just an idea of the swing weight to let you guys know. Now in storm, we will actually write down. The total weight, the balance point, swing weight, and performance swing weight, and then we will go through each different rackets and show you which one is the best fit for you. Now let's scan the second one and see if it is so different or not. Reset it. And go. Okay, as you see, it's a little bit lighter. It's 88.9 grams, balance point slightly more towards even balance. So if you come into the store and say, hey, I'm looking for an ADS Pro uh, 3U version, but I want a lighter one and I want it to be slightly less head heavy, this racket will be more recommended to you than the first one. Although they are the same racket, same category in 3U, uh, 3U weight, but the second one will be a better fit for your knee. And Left side weight, right side weight, exactly the same. Let's take a look at the swing weight. Cool, 87 and 89. So the first one definitely is a little bit more powerful, but this one will be a lot easier for you to play. So that's a small introduction of how the same racket can feel different. And to be honest, I'm not too surprised because Yonex has really good quality control. You don't see a major difference, but when you go to other brands, when I test it out, I'm not gonna put names out there, but when I test it out, there's like three grams, four grams differences. So that's huge. If I have my own racket, I bring my own racket in, I want to have the same feeling, the same feel of the swing weight of this racket. How do I do? So first thing first, when you bring your racket in, you wanna make sure you take all the overgrip off and just leave one simple layer on there so that when we scan an unstrung uh, new racket, it will give us a more, um, I would say precise data, a more better a better idea of what we are looking at. So I'm gonna take my own Dora 10 LT, uh, for example, with strings on and grip on. So let's reset the machine. Cool, put it on. And this is the 4U version, by the way. So the average should be around 83 grams. But with strings and grips on, it should be slightly he heavier. Okay, there we go. So although it's an 83 gram racket, but we are looking at 87.6 gram with grip and strings on. Now, usually uh, grip and strings will add plus or minus uh, less than five grams. So not to worry. So when you put a brand new racket on with no, no grips and no strings, uh, the total weight will definitely go down by plus or minus uh, 5 grams. Uh, balance point, 318, slightly hit heavy. Take a look at the swing weight. I think swing weight is the most important part when we are looking for a racket because it's the most direct feel uh, when we hit the ball. Cool, so we are looking at 93 kg. Forget about the performance swing weight, 93 kg for this racket with strings on. Now, like I said, when you have a brand new racket out there, it will be plus or minus five grams, I'm sorry, five kg differences. Reset. Cool. There you go, 85.4. So with grips, and strings on plus or minus uh, two grams to five grams, uh, slightly lighter. But when you have to expect when you put the strings on grip on, it will feel kind of similar to uh, my racket. Now let's take a look at the swing weight. Flamp it, swing it. Eighty-seven. There you go. So plus or minus five gram difference. Now next time you have a better idea when you come in. 
when you have a racket, when we test it out, it's around 93, 94 kg for the swing weight. When we scan the new racket, you want to look for something that's around 86 to 87 kg. So that's an idea of how to buy the exact same fit for your own rack. So the precision scan service that we provide is for our online customer and in-store customer. So if you're purchasing a racket from us online, all you have to do is send an email to shop at proracket.net and just tell us what racket you want and then we will scan it for you. We will screenshot, take a photo of the precision scan data and then you can pick the right racket for you. If you're local in Bellevue, Washington or Seattle, Washington, just come in store. We can scan your racket for you and of course scan the new racket for you to find the right fit, especially when you're buying two of them. And we can find the same, if not the same, close enough aspects for you to play with. This is Ian from ProRacket.net. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.